we're looking at this problem here on page 4346 um, as of 2009 the date this book was written the New York Yankees and the Cincinnati Reds together had won a total of 32 World Series the Yankees had won 5.4 times as many as the Reds how many World Series had each team won so let's go ahead and come back over to here and for number five we're going to start out by defining our variables and so we can say let x be the amount of wins that the Yankees have won right? so let's say x be the number of World Series the Yankees have. And let's let Y be the number of World Series wins the Reds have. And so now that we've defined our variables, we can use the information from the problem to create a system of equations. So the first bit of information we have is that the Yankees, the number of wins the Yankees have, plus the number of wins the Reds have, total 32 World Series. So writing that as a s in linear equation, I could say x the number of wins the Yankees have plus y the number of wins the Reds have is equal to 32. The second statement says the Yankees had won 5.4 times as many as the Reds. So the Yankees x let's say x is equal to 5.4 times the number of wins the Reds have. Why? And we have our system of linear equations. Now the question is asking us how many World Series did each team win? It's asking us what is X and what is Y? How many wins does the Yankees have? And how many wins do the Reds have? we can answer this question by solving the system of equations and finding out what x is equal to and finding out what y is equal to. First step, solve for one of the variables and that's already done here, x is solved for. Second step is to take what x is equal to and substitute it in to the other equation. Let's do that now we'll get 5.4y plus y is equal to 32. We'll combine our like terms. We get 6.4y is equal to 32. And then we're going to go ahead and do a division. And we'll divide both sides by 6.4. And we will get 5. So y is equal to 5. Great. So what we know is that the number of wins the Reds have is 5. Now how can we find out the number of wins the Yankee has? We can substitute in the value 5 for y in either this equation or this equation. does not matter. Let's go ahead and take it over here. So we'll get x is equal to 5.4 times 5. We'll do that multiplication and we will get 27. So x is equal to 27. So to answer the question, right, uh, the Yankees have 27 wins and the Reds have 5. And I'll put a box around that. Alright, so our next problem is number 7 on page 3, 
47, which is right here. The sum of the measures of angles x and y is 180 degrees. The measure of angle x is 24 degrees greater than the measure of angle y. All right. Um, part A asks us to define the variables <coughs> and write equations for this situation. So we're going to go ahead and let x be the measure of angle x. The measure of angle x. And we're going to let y be the measure of angle y. Those are the two unknowns. So we're going to go ahead and write our system of equations. And how do we do that? Well, the first sentence in the problem states, the sum of the measures of angle x and angle y is 180. So if x is the measure of angle x and y is the measure of angle y, then I could say x plus y is equal to 180. Great. Our first equation is done. Now the second sentence in the problem says, the measure of angle x is 24 degrees greater than the measure of angle y. So the measure of angle x is equal to 24 degrees more than the measure of angle y. So I could say y plus 24, or I could say 24 plus y. And now we need to find the measure of each angle. Well, how can we do that? Well, we have a system of linear equations, and so we'll follow the steps. Step one is to solve for one of the variables. You can see here our x has a coefficient of 1, and our y also has a coefficient of 1. Those would be great candidates to solve for. But looking at our equation 2, x is already solved for. So step one is done. We'll go ahead and move on to step 2 and substitute in this expression for x in the first equation, leaving us with 24 plus y is plus y. Ooh, don't forget that. We're substituting in 24 plus y for x, and that leaves a plus y. And don't forget that. Uh, so this is us substituting, and we'll go ahead and solve for y by combining like terms. So we'll get 24 plus 2y is equal to 180. We'll subtract 24 from both sides of the equal sign, and we'll be left with 2y is equal to 156. Now we're going to divide by 2, and we'll get y is equal to 78. So what does this tell us? This tells us that the measure of angle y is 78. Now, how can we find the measure of angle x? Well, we can take our y, and we can substitute it in f in either equation. Now, this one makes for a simpler process, so I'll go ahead and substitute it in, in equation 2. I'll get x is equal to 24 plus 78. So, I'm going to combine like terms on the right side of the equal sign, and that'll leave me with 102. So what is our answer here? Okay. Well, the measure of angle y is 78 degrees. And the measure of angle x is 102 degrees. And added together, that is equal to 180. So I'll put a box around this.